All right, so you go ahead and flip the pages. That's it. Yeah. Ants. Here, sit over here by us. So this is a book from National Geographic Kids about ants. It's got how to be a Nat Geo super reader. What about ants? Oh, look at that guy. Standing up on his back legs. It says ants all around. Do you know how many ants live in the world? More than, okay, so that's, that's like 10, 10 gazillion or something. That's a lot. That's a lot of ants. 10, that's 100, probably, 100, 100, 100, 100. There's a million, and there's a billion. I think that's a. 1,000. Maybe a zillion? A Ten zillion? zillion? That's a lot of ants. Ants live in fields and forests. They live under sidewalks too. Ants are everywhere. How do you say that's a quadrillion? So that's 10 quadrillion ants. What? You say it like quadrillion. That's what that is. That's 10 quadrillion. It's probably higher than I can count. An ant is an active insect. Its tiny waist helps it bend and wiggle through the tunnels. It has two large eyes that see the world. Its super tough jaws munch and crunch. It has feelers that touch and tap. This is a wood ant. It has six strong legs to help it creep and crawl. See, it's black and red. I thought that was a fire ant. I know, well, I think fire ants are all red. Ants at home. This is an army ant colony. One ant, two ant, three ants, four. See one ant and you'll see lots more. Ants live in large groups called a colony. Word bites. A colony is a group of ants that live together. Some colonies have one million ants. Or sometimes millions of ants. Okay. A thousand and thousands. There's what a colony looks like. An ant colony lives in a nest. Most ants build nests underground. An ant nest is full of tunnels. Each tunnel leads to a little room. That is a bulldog ant inside the tunnel right there. How he's carrying an egg. And there's underground, there's the tunnels. That's what they call a room where they hide the eggs. That did, the eggs look so slimy. Some ants do not live underground. This is called a guinea ant. They live in trees. They live Inside hollow thorns, between rocks and rotting trees, and nests made of leaves. That, look like, that one looks like it's dancing. Right? And these are called weaver ants. Mommy. The ant man. Nothing. Brian Fisher is a scientist. He looks for new kinds of ants. Some people call him the ant man. Dr. Fisher has found more than 800 new kinds of ants. Wow. He can't wait to find more. And all these different types of ants that he has located. Wow, that's identified. a lot. I, some of them the ant life. This is what a queen ant looks like. Whoa, she is big and almost like yellow and transparent. Ant taking care of the pupae. These are the eggs when they are hatching and becoming new ants. The queen is the biggest ant of the colony. She lays eggs all day long. When the eggs hatch, little larvae wriggle out. They look like worms. They eat and eat and eat. Larvae into pupae. Pupae do not move. Pupae do not eat. After a few weeks, they turn into adult ants. Larvae, the second stage of the life is many insects. Larvae spend most of their time eating and growing. Pupae. The third stage in the life of many insects. Some ant pupae are surrounded by a cocoon. Worker ants. Worker ants? I'm gonna get an ant um, farm soon. And me? Oh no, you are not gonna get one. You oh, if we got two of them, the ants would be together. We don't have to make Worker them. ants. Most of the ants in the colony are workers. All worker ants are female. Inside the nest, some worker ants dig new tunnels. Others take care of eggs, larvae, and pupae. This is the bulldog ant again, helping with the larvae. I guess they move them around. 
Look at all these worker ants and weaver ants. They look like they're creating a bridge <laughs> with their bodies. Yeah, that's weird. But there, it looks like they're carrying an insect there. Maybe that's dead or maybe they're getting ready to feast on it. Some worker ants collect food. Others guard the nest. Oh my goodness. Ants with wings? This is called a garden ant. Winged <laughs> carpenter ants. A few ants in the colony have wings. Some are females, some are males. Ants with wings fly out of the nest. They start new colonies. Oh my gosh, superhero ants. This is called an aqua ant. He can walk on water. He lives in Australia. She can swim, dive, and even live underwater. This is called Mama Marvel. <coughs> Mama Marvel is an African driver ant. She lays 50 million eggs a year. Holy. The hulking Hercules. The hulking Hercules is a bulldog ant. She can lift more than 20 times her body weight. That, is that a bee? Yeah, she's lifting a bee. What the heck? The big biter. Well, look at this guy. Whoa. The big biter is a trap jaw ant. She has the fastest bite in the animal world. Hmm? The biter can snap her jaw shut at a speed of 145 miles an hour. Hmm. Oh my goodness. What's for dinner? Most ants catch and eat other insects. Some ants eat dead animals. Leafcutter ants grow their own food. They have a fungus garden inside their nest. Hmm. They have a fungus garden inside their nest. What? Where do we hear that before? I'm confused. Surely not your father's advice. Leafcutter ants and fungus garden. Look at all of that. Hmm. Look at these little guys. What did one leaf cutter ant say to the other leaf cutter ant? There's a fungus among us. <laughs> a fungus living is a thing that is not a plant or animal. Mushrooms are a kind of a fungus. Many ants take care of aphids. Aphids are small insects. They make a sugary poop that ants like to eat. <laughs> Yum, yummy! <laughs> How do you say aphid like this? A fid. Poop is not yummy. Well, they think so. Apparently, these little aphids make a gummy poop, a sugary poop that they like to eat. Well, there is something new. I did not know that. I did not. Look at that army ants. Holy cow. Look at those chompers. Wow. Look at those guys. Look at like they're building a bridge. <laughs> army ants hunt for food every day. The colony looks for a moving munching carpet. They move, looks like a moving munching carpet. Army ants sting and bite everything in their path. They can kill insects, spiders, lizards, and baby, and baby birds. An army ant colony can be as wide as a street and can be as long as a football field. That is pretty amazing. Look at that fire ant. That's what you were talking about earlier. Look how he's all red. Army ants are not the only ants that sting and eat animals. Fire ants have a poison that they inject into other insects, animals, and even people. It leaves a burning feeling. That's how fire ants got their name. There are more than 280 different types of fire ants. That's incredible. Hooray for ants. Ants are an important part of our world. They are food for other animals. Birds, frogs, and spiders eat ants. So do monkeys and aardvarks. As ants dig tunnels, they mix the dirt. Plants grow better in dirt with ants. A leaf cutter ant digs in a lot of dirt when they build a nest. Scientists weighed the dirt one colony dug up. The dirt weighed as much as six elephants. Holy moly. Why did the aardvark jump for joy? <gasps> he had ants in his pants. <laughs> the ants have pants because he has pants. And there's some little follow-up stuff there. There's some more books. Hang on monkey, hot bunny, swing sloth, jump pup, frogs, meerkats, sharks, and robots. Interesting. All right. So that was all for this one. National Geographic Kids, Watch Level 1 Reader, Ants. That's right. Watch for more. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.